beauty is from the inside. It's when that person is smiling because they feel good about themselves. It doesn't matter what color your hair is, what your makeup looks like, what your skin looks like. It's how you feel and how you present yourself. That's what beauty is. My name is Alex, I'm 24. I currently work at Sephora, but I'm also going to school, majoring in nutrition. Um, I really wanna help kids eat better at their schools. It started when I was 11, I got my first zit, not a big deal. Uh, my mom helped me pop it, we moved on. But when I started to go through puberty more at the end of middle school and high school, it really kind of took over my skin. And for a long time, I was scared for anyone to see me without makeup on because I didn't want to be judged. You know, in high school, it's scary. People are mean to you about it. But once I went away to college, I kind of realized that it doesn't, it doesn't define who I am. They're little red dots on my face. Everybody's got them. It's not a big deal. It definitely took a toll for a long time. As I said, I was scared to go out of the house without makeup on. I thought that no one could really care about somebody who had that much acne, but it's, it's a lot better now. <laughs> There's a lot of misconceptions like your face isn't clean or for people who are oily, they're like, oh my gosh, I produce so much oil and they need to kind of help hydrate, you know? So I just think there's uh, misconceptions about how to treat it and what causes it. I would probably say, first of all, don't pick, leave it alone, you're fine. And then I would say that it's okay. Everybody has it. You're beautiful no matter what. Just, you don't have to put a ton of makeup on to hide it. Just go be who you are and you'll be fine. It's somebody who has acne but doesn't let it rule their life. They acknowledge that it's there and that it does affect them slightly, it can, but it's not what causes them to make choices or change what they're doing with themselves.